Hey guys, George Johnson here. Never done a video before, but I want to talk about my Blade HQ sales stuff that I bought because they're Williams Blade Designs. They make some really cool Japanese inspired knives, which you can probably tell by my background music. So, let's see what we got. Oh, let's start with the big one. Alright. So, this is the Shinbu Divine Valor. Also, can mean, I think, um, military might. But, you know, just because I'm half Japanese doesn't mean I know anything about the language. Been here too long. This is, oh, that's just the box. So, the box is really cool. Comes with this cool sheath, Kydex sheath, Williams design. Anyway, it's a big one. It's super cool. Got the ray skin underneath here and a traditional Japanese wrap. And that was one box. Now this box. I love it when Blade HQ has a sale because then. I spend a bunch of money and it's not what I do for a living, but uh, it's where all my money goes, that's for sure. So CRKT did a lot of collabs with the Williams guys and um, James Williams is an awesome samurai himself, the most samurai hagojin I ever met. And uh, here is a Yukanto, I bought like six of these so I can give them to my friends. So it is a fixed blade, and it's the the shape of that blade is a modern adaptation of a Japanese blade, and the, I think the puncture ratio on these things are super cool. The little X pattern on this mill uh, looks like a carbon fiber, like a G10 mill. So that's cool. I'm digging it. I'm gonna give away a bunch of these to my homies. Same deal. Hopefully, we can find other ones that aren't that. I think there's a bigger box. Uh huh. This is cool. I don't. I think this is just a print for the ray skin on here. Fixed blade. Yeah. This is a hitatsu, which uh, means to annihilate in one blow. Very uh, karate action on that, but yeah, fits in my hand decently. I'm not super knowledgeable on knives, as you can tell. I can't tell you about blade steels. I can't tell you about that kind of stuff. I just buy what I like, and that's about it, you know. One day I'll learn a little bit more. So here's a folder. Aha. This is the. Uh, Yo, the soldier, it's a spring assisted. It still has a locking mechanism in the back. And I got those cool serration ones, as well as I got a non serrated one as well. So it's a little small. This will be one of my EDCs for work, opening boxes. And here we have, I believe the same action in a non serrated blade. So, yeah, got the cool kanji on the front, just to remind you of the Japanese stuff. So another reason why I like all the Williams Blade designs is they're so rooted in Japanese arts and they take a traditional style and, and modernize it and bring it to the forefront. I mean, it's just awesome what they do. And this is a, probably another Yukanto. Here we go, and the last one. Got six of those Yukontos, so I'm super stoked. They buy cheap. I should have got one of these. I think they were out of them in the big T serrations. But this also has the locking mechanism on the back to turn it 
essentially into a fixed blade so you don't cut yourself when you're jamming into stuff. It's funny, I already bought one of these before and it is one of my everyday carries. It's been holding the edge pretty well, but I mean, it just goes up against boxes and the, the tape from the boxes. So, but uh, my OZF is another everyday carry. I've got to put this on the uh, Tormek and put the, the blade uh, back into tip top shape, but this one's really cool. I bought this at Blade Show last year from them, and I bought a couple for my friends because I just like them that much. I would definitely recommend getting one of these. The single mill titanium or this, this milled same kind of carbon action. So I'm digging it. And, uh, you know, I grew up in the same town from Encinitas where these guys used to live. So very cool. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed just looking at my knives. Sorry I can't give you really cool information, but one day I'll learn a little bit more. That's not going to flick out. Anyway, guys, take it easy.